the Ozarks. This is now the most fatal maritime tragedy caused by a tornado or high winds in the national modern modern National Weather Service era. Yeah, one Lake of the Ozarks man to this day has continued looking into what happened to the Grand Glaze. The same man currently runs boat rescue operations on the Lake of the Ozarks. Kimmy Waits Monica Harkins is alive at the lake with details. Monica? Now this is the same Captain Meyer we just saw in that package. I talked to him today about how no matter how safe you are on a boat, the weather is just going to be the stronger force in some cases. He told me that even with today's weather technology that the Grand Glaze didn't have access to, when any boat is on the water in a storm, it comes down to the combination of circumstances. Meyer says although he's not a boating investigator, he says in his experience having a canopy on top of a boat like the duck boat has, it can cause issues. A lot of these pontoon boats that carry canopies, you know, have these big canopies, we've seen winds just pick those up and just roll them over. Big you know, big boats, they're fairly good sized boats and pontoon boats. The weather is just completely unpredictable. He told me that this investigation following yesterday's incident will be an incredibly difficult one with so many contributing circumstances and it will not be easy. Live at the Lake of the Ozarks, Monica Harkins, KMUA News. All right,